Uh, Timo says, wait, G, you see dead people? <laughs> I say they are they are the Wag the Dog. Ever seen the movie? Yes, I did. And it, yes, yes, it could One be Wag the Dog. Best the, the Ukraine could very well be a fucking great movie. It could be just a, we're only seeing the highlights and the clips and you go out there and you visit out there and, you know, nothing's going on. I don't know. When per, when someone first asked me about that, and this is when I first found out, like back in, they said, what do you feel about the Ukraine war? I said, first, you have to prove to me there is a Ukraine. I've never been there. This is the first time I'm hearing of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a fuck. That has nothing to do with us. It's funny. I always say it's really funny how many Ukrainians I've met since, since this, then. Yeah. I'm like, oh, dog, you're Russian, son. Yeah, you, ain't, nah, you ain't nah, Ukrainian. Ukrainian. Every single fucking Russian. Yeah. Traveling runner. Men ain't scissoring with no women. <laughs> Uh, Listen on, on 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 good Molly, anything can happen. Uh, the Charlie runner saying, uh, uh, "Demor says one of the Robert De Niro's best flicks. One of Robert De Niro's best flicks." Was um, I see dead people. No, uh, uh, Wag the Dog. What's, what was is that the name of the movie? Yeah, Wag the. You never saw that with Dustin Hoffman and and Robert De Niro, where mm -hmm. Dustin Hoffman produces a war. Because the president got busted with like a, a Girl Scout or something, and it was during the election year. Bro. So they had to, they had to what like. What is that about? They had to like get Who rid of that, that about, scandal. Dude? Who was that about? They had to was get it Clinton rid of Clinton and uh, and Operation Iraqi for, or not uh, uh, Desert they, Storm. They had to get rid of the scandal. So to yeah. get rid of the scandal, they went to war, and you see them trying to pick the country they're gonna go to war with, and then they go to war, and then um, I forgot what part of the government comes in. And says uh, they come up to them, and I think like CIA, whatever. They come up to them, and they go, "Well, we we were doing some research on uh, this war that you're having, and uh, there's no war." And then Robert De Niro goes, "What?" And he goes, "Yeah, uh, there's no war." And he goes, "I think you better check again, because if there's no war, then they don't need you, and they don't need me, and they don't need this military that we get all this money. You know, I think you better check again." So then the next day on the news, they don't blow them up that there's no war. They put an end to the war. They said a ceasefire has been made. And he's like, this motherfucker ended my war. He ended my fucking war. So they're so mad. Then they go, well, how, do, how can we keep it going? And they say, we need a war hero. So they get this military criminal dude, fucking, um, mm -hmm. what's his name? The one who used to be, uh, what the fuck's his name? Uh, 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 the one from uh, Cheers that he started at in Cheers. And he was uh, the bartender. Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. They bring, you know, he's a fucking psycho. He can play any fucking, yeah. any role. And they bring him as this military, like, dude. And they, they like, the helicopter stops or needs gas or some shit. They land in some town. He kills the whole family. Mm -hmm. It's insane. Dude, that, that, okay. So it's, you, you it's hit insane. on, you hit on a point there where you're talking about the, like, them faking a war to get the money. Right. Well, no, the, the war was fake to get everybody away from remembering that the president got busted banging a cheerleader because oh. it was. During but then there's also time. the money behind it, I guess, too. No, but that wasn't part of it. It really wasn't the money. It really yeah. was a thing of I mean, yeah, there's always money involved. Uh, well, you know, I, it, it's it, it's like, you know, we, we have laws in place, but there really was no war. So really, there was no weapons needed or any of that stuff because there right. really was. But no were war. they buying it was directed? <laughs> it was directed. And they, they were creating scenes to right. show clips uh, on the news. It was all acting, and, and it was Dustin Hoffman who created it. And when mm -hmm. they brought him on, they said, let me tell you something. You will never be able to tell anybody about this. And, of course, Dustin Hoffman, being that producer, is like, I can't wait to tell my grandkids. And they're like, Robert De Niro's like, what are you, a dick? You can't tell anybody. He's like, well, my grandkids' grandkids. And they're like, dude, you can't tell anybody. And he's like, this is my greatest work, and I'll never be able to tell anybody. So you could figure out what happens after that. Hmm. It kind of sounds like the moon landing. <laughs> But dude, I, I saw this article uh, last night from San Francisco that I wanted to bring up to you. So a nonprofit group, it's called SAFE, SF SAFE, right? Mm -hmm. They're a nonprofit group that's an extension of the San Francisco Police Department. And they spent $80,000 in grant money on in ineligible or expensive uh, excess expenses, including a trip to Lake Tahoe, <laughs> luxury gift boxes, and a limo service. Yep. An analysis of about $910,000 paid by the police department during a nine-month period. That's why I don't give they, to charities, dude. They, bro, this isn't this isn't charity. This is that forty percent tax coming from the city that they're dumping into these nonprofits. That's where the cash gets siphoned off, dude. This is the shit that I've been saying. This is why big government sucks. 
because you get these nonprofits called SF Safe, and we're here to keep the streets safe. You know what? The cops are supposed to keep the streets safe. And they're not doing. How about you lock up the fentanyl dealers instead of getting SF Safe to hand out fucking pamphlets and free fucking needles? And they're going to goddamn Tahoe, taking a trip. Sorry about the GD. They're going to Tahoe, taking this big old trip. Champagne, snow bunnies, ski lifts. You're getting better at your rants. I'm trying, you know, and and, and I think, you know, I got to learn when to cut out. Mm. Yeah, you got you to gotta step off like George, you know, on a high note. <laughs> and- I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next week. <laughs> uh, the Traveling Runner says General Rambo. <laughs> uh, Charlie Rose says democracy is the new way to say corporate interest. Yep, I agree with that. King Handel says cash gets siphoned off through high salaries for the board execs and fees. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We'll have a setup fee for our live podcast. <laughs> That's what we'll tell them. <laughs> a setup fee. <laughs> there's, a, there's a $300 setup fee. Non-refundable. It has to go to the guy who helps set up our equipment, which is me. <laughs> there you go. I don't have a problem with that. Listen, I know I don't celebrate Valentine's Day, but many of you do. Mm -hmm. And if you happen to be caught in that weird position where you just don't know what to get your loved one, you know, because they don't like chocolate. They're Mm -hmm. allergic, you know, flowers. They're like, they die. And you just don't know what to get. You don't got the money for diamonds, Mm -hmm. you know, and that's what they really want, you know, but you don't have all that. So what do you do? Well, Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what you do. You go to XXXPlayground.com and grab yourself Triple X Playground, the board game. It's only the best communication tool game ever created. Okay? Want to get a little closer? Well, roll those dice, baby, and you can get fist deep into someone you love. Two to eight players, get fist deep in a neighbor. Or one of your lady's friends or one of your friend's friends. Mm -hmm. All right? There's no telling what could happen once the dice gets rolled, but I'll tell you this. You take none of the blame. (laughs) You could blame it all. On the roll of the dice. So go to triplexplayground.com and pick up Triple X Playground. Uh gee, what if what if I wanted to get a hoodie like that that you you have over there? Where can oh, I get that? Like a, that sexy hoodie draped over my right. Well, if you need some fucking drip and you really want to support rated G, because we don't fucking monetize this shit. This way we can say whatever the fuck we want to say. If you want to show some support, you want to look good doing it, go to Bryantlacata.com slash shop. Is that correct? That's correct. That's correct, man. And pick up some of the rated G drip, man. We got the hoodies. We got the baseball caps. We got the fucking mugs, baby. Mm. We got the, the the rounder skeptic shirt, man. We got a lot of flavor on there, man. We yep. got something for you. Mm-hmm. Something for everybody. Yep. So go to BrianTLacata.com slash shop and-, and get yourself some rated G apparel today. Get it for yourself or someone you love, you know? Maybe you'll get fist deep in them, too. You never know, man. I mean, the shorts have easy access from the leg holes. Um, now, gee, what if what if I wanted to see you perform live somewhere? Like uh, some stand-up comedy that well, you do? Well, then you can go to acjokes.com. Uh, go to acjokes.com, man, and go check out whenever I'm out there. I'm usually out there Tuesday through Sundays unless I'm performing somewhere else. And if you want to see if I'm performing somewhere else, go to Gabby G. Garcia on Instagram, Facebook. And every Monday night, I'm out in Manhattan. Ah, with the Not Quite Tuesday Midnight Show with my brother Adam Gable. Mm. I'll be out there this Monday, too. Uh, it'll be me. Adam's not going to be there. So you know what, man? Just for fun, everybody who knows me is in the city. Come out that night so I can say it was sold out the only night that he wasn't there. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> to Adam, I think so. To Adam? Yeah. King Handel says, I have a different kind of drip. Do you guys sell antibiotics? <laughs> <laughs> You get some with every purchase of a hoodie. Yeah, we'll see you next time. You a pill. Thank you, Themor76, Traveling Runner. And, of course, Stormy and everybody Stormy. else, man. Zero. Everybody else who managed to find us, too. Cut we of the truly jib. appreciate Melissa. you, man. Cut of the jib, of course, man. Mm-hmm. And, Melissa, what's up? Give my love to my brother. I'll talk to you later. Till later. Peace. Peace.